الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه الطيبين الطاهرين الله سبحانه وتعالى سيد القرآن لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسبة حسنة for you in the messenger of Allah there is a fine example to follow so رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم the messenger of Allah was uh, is a role model and he is a role model for all people for all human beings whether they are Arabs or non-Arabs, whether they are the people lived in the 7th century of Arabia or the people living in the 21st century in America, any part of the world, any race, any nationality, any color, any... Because his life was a beautiful life. He lived a perfect life as a human being. He was a human being, no doubt about that, but he was a messenger of Allah and he was the last and the final messenger of Allah. There is no prophet after him. He is the last one and he is Afzalul Anbiya, Afzalul Bashar. He is the supreme prophet and supreme human being. So, uh, and uh, there is another thing what makes his life relevant for everybody is because he lived a very comprehensive life. And if you look at his life, he was uh, a businessman. So you have one beautiful example of a businessman. If you look at his life, whether he became the Prophet of Allah, then a great Prophet, a great teacher, Imam, uh, leader of the community. Uh, and then also he was a family man. He had wife, children, grandchildren. So example for that also, you will find that family life. He was, uh, when he became a statesman, he was the ruler. Uh, of when he came to Medina and he had uh, ruled the people and uh, he was very just ruler, very kind ruler, very caring person at the same time. He also had to encounter uh, opposition from the people, his enemies, they brought war. He did not like war. He was a man of peace, but they attacked his uh, Medina. They came all the way from Makkah to Medina to attack and he defended. Uh, his uh, city, his people very well. So he was the commander of the army and he dealt with his people both in peace as well as in war. And uh, the beautiful example that he gave at that time. That So he was also commander of the army. He was uh, a lawgiver. He gave a most comprehensive law which is uh, for every aspect of life. So he was a lawgiver and he was a, a beautiful orator. He spoke very well. His speeches are perfect speeches. Uh, he did not give very long speeches, but his speeches were short but comprehensive. What you call it, Jawami ul Kalim. Many few words, but a lot of meaning in these words. So look at any, any part of his life, any aspect of his life, and you will say, this is the beautiful, this is beautiful, this is beautiful. In every aspect of life you say, wow, <laughs> you cannot find anything like that. So wherever he was, in whatever condition he was, in whatever position he was, he was a wonderful example, a beautiful example. And um, you cannot understand Quran without the life of the Prophet Because Quran is connected with the life of the Prophet uh, Quran and the Prophet, these are the two guides. Quran is the guide from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is the human example. So Quran prescribes, Prophet Muhammad describes. Whatever the Quran says, he lived that way. That's why his wife Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, when she was asked, كَيْفَ كَانَ خُلُقُ النَّبِيَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم, How was the character of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم? She said, did you not read the Quran? Kana al Quran. He was a walking Quran. His, his character was Quran. So whatever the Quran says should be the perfect human being, he was that example. So his example is uh, for every time, for every place, for all people. And this is, uh, and Alhamdulillah, we have his seerah. His life is available because there is no other prophet Actually, there is no other uh, leader. We know about his life in so much detail as we know about the life of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.